Hello, this is David Kramer here to show you how to use contours in Match Mover to mask out certain areas. Now, the first thing you'll want to do, obviously, is load in your video. And then, identify areas where Match Mover isn't going to track properly, like mirrors, or in this case, the monitor. Go up here to Contour, New Contour, and you place the corners where you want them. Once you have the last corner, you need to bring it back to the first and close it up. So this has created a new contour. Scrub the time along a little bit, and then just grab the corners again where you need them. And it'll do what's called a tween to smoothly transition over. Now in, in that case, it actually worked pretty well. Sometimes it doesn't match up quite right, and so you have to go into the middle here and just move the corners around where you want them to set another keyframe. For instance, if I come way over here, chances are they won't match up quite properly. You can hold Control and Alt then hold the right mouse button to zoom in and out. I find that useful for doing things like moving the contour out some, so that way it more properly matches. And again, just scrub along, see how it messed up in the middle there? Just kind of bring them all back in where they need to go. Now, this doesn't have to be perfectly exact. Match Mover is generally pretty good about dealing with slightly off contours. I've also found that places where it has consistent motion, like along here is relatively consistent motion, is generally a good place to put a keyframe at the begin you know, beginning and end of that. It helps so that way it's not completely messed up between the tweens and you don't have to add too many more keyframes. Then whenever you change speed, whenever your camera changes speed or changes direction, that's a good place to set a keyframe. One other thing that you can do is if you grab one of these edges, you can move around the entire contour, which is useful in this situation where the screen might be just slightly off from where it was before, so you just want to grab the same shape and move it to fit. There you go. Now you can see the contour is properly tracking around with the computer screen. Next all you have to do is 2D tracking and use your automatic tracking. I'm going to turn off solve for camera and then make it so that way there's not a whole lot of tracks.
and as you can see it's not tracking any points inside of that contour. I hope you enjoyed the video and that is how you do uh, contours for tracking in Matchmover.